All right, this is what it looks like to get a bunch of files moved from a Kermit server to a Kermit client. Now the super brain here is is the Kermit client and the executables on the A drive. My current drive is B. That's where I'm going to be putting the files that get transferred. Uh, it's a 386 portable, IBM portable, uh, and it has one of the last versions of MS-DOS Kermit on it in this directory. Launch Kermit like that. You get a Kermit prompt. We do a set speed 1200 to set the baud to 1200, and that's going to match the super brain baud rate and then we go into server mode at which point the PC version sits there waiting for communications from the other side alright so the first thing we'll do here is a remote directory of the other side this is coming from the PC and you get a DOS-like directory listing out of this. So there's uh, some 362, no, 36 k bytes of uh, data over there. So 36,000 bytes of uh, art files. They're ASCII art files, and that's what we're going to transfer. Here's what happens on the PC when Kermit does a directory. Uh, a remote directory command. So we're going to say get star dot star, which will get all the files and put them onto the current drive, which is B here. So for each one it gives the file name and the number of packets that have come across. And it takes a while for these 36,000 bytes to come across at 1,200 baud. Take a look at what it's looking like on the PC. That is the server display screen. And back to the super brain.
that's all the files we brought across. At this point we could exit Kermit and go to CPM and do CPM stuff. And that ends a session of file transfers as it was done with the 1991 version of Kermit.